Hi there, it's AJ here and in this video I'd like to talk about responsive and mobilize ready templates. I'll try to help you make a decision as to which type to choose for your own site and a bit of a spoiler alert, it might be a close run thing and will come down to personal choice rather than one type being inherently better than the other. So let's start with responsive templates. They're perhaps a little more modern looking and you can choose one, two or three column designs as well as the stripe design. Perhaps the biggest draw card for many people, including myself, is that you have such fine grain control over the display of your website on phones and tablets. You don't get that with mobilize it. I'm actually using one of these templates it's called marketing this one here on this particular website and if I just minimize the screen so you can see how it would look on a phone it displays perfectly it looks nice and we've got that very nice um, slide across navigation you can't get that with a mobilize it template however if we look at mobilize it designs it has one big advantage and that is how easy it is to implement it two minutes perhaps and that's it you don't have to fluff around with setting up different uh, designs and layouts for different screen sizes SBI takes care of all of that for you and you end up with a good mobile display straight out of the box. So if you don't want to get your hands dirty with doing design work and you just want to get on with other things like creating more content, then mobilize it might be just the thing for you. Now I have heard various people at times give reasons for using responsive instead of mobilize it. But actually most of those reasons don't even hold water so I'm just going to address those before we wrap up this video. You might be getting a bit sick of looking at these templates so let's just look at a picture of cute kittens instead. Okay the first thing that people might say is you'll get better SEO using a responsive template. Not true. While the Mobilize It one is, I suppose, technically an adaptive design rather than responsive design, at the end of the day, it does exactly the same thing in that it gives a nice display on mobile phones. And that's all Google cares about. So if I just pop back quickly and we have a look at this, you can see where I've set up a mobilize it template on my block builder and Google has said the page is mobile friendly it's given it the stamp of approval so don't let that put you off you're not going to get any sort of penalty from using a mobilize it design the next thing I've heard mentioned is Windows phone display and mobilize it templates don't work on Windows phones. That's really a non-issue. There's so few of those around today that it really doesn't matter. The latest stat that I saw, which I think was for last year, the market share of Windows phones was 0.15%. That's one and a half people per thousand visitors and that's only going to get lower as time goes by so I wouldn't even give that any consideration the next thing is you need a phone to check the display that's true as well with a responsive template you can just shrink down a browser window and you'll get a rough approximation of what your page is going to look like um, in a phone I've heard people say, oh, but I don't have a phone to check. I guess the first thing I'd say is, well, 
maybe get with the times it's 2018 now but I'd also say that if you don't have a phone and you can't beg, borrow or steal one just go to the mobile friendly test page you can see it's search.google just type in um, mobile friendly test into a search and you'll find this page put in your URL and it will tell you any problems that you have with your page so you can get by without a phone and the final thing that I'm going to address is these two questions here you have your footer in the middle of a page and also the side columns are below it I guess there's a point to be made with that because the word footer does imply that it should be at the foot of the page and it's not however there is a way to have a single column with um, mobilize it and you can also have the footer at the bottom of the page on a phone you can see that it's all resized nicely if I click on the navigation that takes me to the bottom where my menu is and the footer is right at the bottom of the page so we'll do a video on that but for now I think that just about covers it it comes down to do you want to have that fine grain control over your look and feel or would you rather just sit and forget and get on with other things if you enjoyed this video then you can subscribe to my channel and click this icon to get notified about new videos and of course a thumbs up is always appreciated thanks for watching